Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. My name is David. And uh, January 14th of 2011, I was in a room of about 200 people laughing harder than I could remember laughing in years. My face hurt, my belly ached, it was wonderful. What was making me laugh like this? A man on stage voluntarily reading his very embarrassing high school journals. <laughs> And the craziest thing about this was not the guy reading his journal to 200 strangers. It was the fact that I was listening to him and saying, I want to do that. <laughs> I have to do that. And this response that I was having is not uncommon at all. This show, Mortified, is now in over 25 cities around the world and every single month, grown men and women clamor to share their most embarrassing childhood stuff. <laughs> Journals, artwork, videos, songs. I personally was compelled to share my uh, old high school journals, journal entries with tons of tortured poetry, and some very choice lines uh, like this one. If I just see a hot guy on the street, I go practically insane. I want to tear his clothes off and perform fellatio right there. <laughs> Verbatim from my journal. So 10 plus years before I decided to voluntarily share this on stage, I would have died with embarrassment if anyone had read this. So what changed? And people ask me this all the time. What compels you to do this? What compels anybody to do this? And it's a real good question. But if you've ever been to one of these shows, you know that there's something special about it, something kind of magical. They're not just hilarious, they are somehow life-affirming and heart-opening and profoundly unifying. And why is that? What makes that happen? So we're getting into some social science territory here, and I want to invite the queen on board, Miss Brene Brown, and I also need to preface this by saying Mortified was never designed to be therapy in any way. It's not intended to be therapy. But Brene Brown might break it down like this. Shame plus vulnerability equals empathy. And we've clearly got our shame piece here, right? These adolescent artifacts that people never thought they would share. For me, those hot guy on the street journals that I didn't quite get around to burning, but I definitely put at the bottom of a very tightly packed box. And Brene Brown has discovered that shame grows exponentially with three things. Silence, secrecy, and judgment. And I definitely excelled at all three when I was younger. I imagine many of you did as well. Brene Brown has also discovered that shame cannot survive being spoken. I'm sure everybody in this room can think of a time when they were so terrified of revealing something to someone, and when they finally did, they were greeted with the complete opposite reaction they expected. Total understanding. Empathy. Empathy sits on the opposite side of the spectrum from shame. It's all connection and compassion, and it's the most powerful antidote to shame. And at that show, January of 2011, I realized I was watch, watching this startling transformation with every single person that took that stage, that leap from shame to empathy. And these shows actually provide that connecting piece, that space for people to see, oh my gosh, this is what vulnerability can do. I can share this adolescent shame I've been carrying around, and everyone in the room seems to know exactly where I'm coming from. Or as Brene Brown so eloquently puts it, our most isolating experiences prove to be our most universal as well, and we discover that through vulnerability. That's how Mortified manages to pull off this magic trick. People are called into that vulnerable space because they can so clearly see the empathy on the other side. They're also called to that vulnerable space because of that incredible endorphin release from a good belly laugh. And I think deep down we all want to be able to laugh at ourselves at the end of the day, especially these days. So please go into your cobwebbed attics, your dusty basements, 
your parents' storage sheds and unearth those things that you never thought you would share and never thought you'd want to share because the world is a more loving and empathic and hilarious place when you do. Thank you. <laughs>